there, welcome to the latest video. This one's a walk in Cliftonville, which was in the 1920s. It was um, launched as the fashionable end of Margate. It's now slightly less fashionable. We're at the unfashionable end of um, Cliftonville in the North Down Road. And trendy stuff tends to be at the opposite end, which is down near Margate. We're at the far end, very near Tesco's and there's a car about to run at me over because in Thanet the car is always king. In this case it's a very posh Range Rover. So we're going to start walking down North Down Road. We're going to do this in two parts because um, Cliftonville, well Cliftonville is divided into two parts, East Cliftonville which is where all the rich people live, but where the poorer shops are. And West Cliftonville, which is where the poor people live, but where the better shops are. And then near the um, seafront, there's the Esplanade, I think it's called, which is, runs across to the sea. And that's where all the um, hotels and boarding houses were up to the 1960s when the Spanish um, tourist trade took over. And so we're going to do that one next. That's quite, that's where the uh, Libertines have opened a hotel and things like that. So that's quite good. And that's also, that's down there basically. And we're up here. As you can see, there's lots of nice old buildings. Because as I say, Cliftonville and Northdown Road date back to the 1920s when it was a very fashionable um, shopping area. This is the Regent Street of Margate, well, was. It's went into decline, but in the last five years, I would say, things have really improved. I don't think you can see that across the road. That's the upper marble hall. I don't know where the lower marble hall is, but it'll be around here somewhere, I'm sure. And this is some interesting shops here, as you can see. There's the funeral directors, the um, kebab house, which is ubiquitous around here. The pilgrims hospices, charity shop. And we'll walk down North Down Road towards and see what we can see. Because I promise you it'll be interesting, if nothing else. Even though we're in the eastern half of North Down Road, there's still a few trendy shops here. For example, the Skinny Dip. I don't know what they do, but it looks very interesting. Stella's. Tipsy, which I think is a bar. I don't think they do wrestling there, but you never know. And across the road, there's some things in production, uh, framers and things. This was the International Food Centre. I think it's just revamped because this was where I used to come to have to get all my Arab breads and that sort of thing and all my spices. But luckily, in the last few years, Ramsgate's opened up with a load more places. And there's a fantastic place now I go to in Hub Street, which has got literally every spice I ever need. And so that's a lot nearer home than. But again, I do like this area, North Down Road. The people who live in the area, who aren't into all the, um, who aren't into all the improvements and things, call it gentrification. They say it's horrible because it's very dangerous down here. But I don't find that at all. I think what they are afraid of is people who don't look exactly like they do. But anyway, hopefully things will change. Things will get better as people are educated and realise that um, people who aren't the same as them are actually quite often exactly the same as them. This has been filmed in late October 2021, so there's a lot of Halloween type stuff, especially this is new, I've not seen this before, this is a costume hire and various other things. Very exciting commissions, alterations and repairs, engineers of Desire Portrait Studio. Oh, well, that's quite new. I've never seen that before. And across the road there's a Banks Ale and Wine House, which is a modern version of an old idea, which is always good, I think. But if you could see this 10 years ago, this is totally changed, totally improved. And even though we're in the middle or whatever, People think it's the end, but I think it's probably still the middle of the pandemic. I think that um, it's quite a vibrant area, isn't it? I mean, if you look at these shops behind me, they're just like totally different to anything you'll 
see in this area apart from here, which is, I think is great. And then the old fashioned amusements, which still obviously has a role to play if you want to spend your money and get nothing apart from a bit of a thrill. I mean, so some of the names of the shops hint at what you're going to get, like the Dubai market, obviously it's not, I doubt it's all stuff from Dubai, but I think it hints at like an Arab influence, which is quite exciting for an area of the Kent coast, I think. And then, That's, uh, that's an old building there, obviously. Some sort of um, cinema, I think. And there's another one there. See, all this area was like a really big tourist area and there were lots of hotels and things on the seafront. And this is where people used to come for their fun. Back in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s. And then it also started to die in the 1970s. But, um, it seems to be on the way back, but in a slightly different way. Less kiss me quick and more um, designer coffee houses and craft beers and that kind of thing. So it's got to be good, hasn't it? And down there we can see the sea. That's where we're going to go later and walk along there down by the Lido. So there's something you wouldn't have seen even five years ago. It's, um, it's an escape club order they call them. Pretty good stuff, eh? It's something I would never try myself, but I would want to. Maybe I will in the future. Perhaps we should do a video about one. Do you think so? If so, comment in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know whether you think I'm wasting my time doing these, or whether you're very interested in coming to Cliftonville with me and walking down the North End Road. And please subscribe and press the notification bell so you know when we're going to do things and you can be first to watch and um, of course you don't have to watch all of them if you do please like them if you don't like them stop watching them and I'll say bye 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 but in the meantime there's lots more to come so stay with me as we walk down North Town Road in Cliftonville heading towards Margate and if you ever want your hair cut I've passed about 50 hairdresser shops men's barber shops they all look pretty good, they're all very um, tempting. Perhaps I ought to get my hair cut, but um, if you want a cage bird or a parrot, this is the place to come, obviously. Animal, what's it called? I can't even see from where I'm standing. Animal magic. You can hear the birds and things. Amazon parrots, there you go, you can buy them on Amazon now. Ho ho. Here's a shop selling palm trees. I think it's the end of October. I think that's a, well, I don't know. I've got one in my front room, so. Maybe that's the idea. Actually, the, the place I had my hair cut last time is just over the road there, interesting enough. A place of worship, teaching and healing. The Christ Church, Church of England, of St. Paul at Cliftonville. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. There you go. Just walking down towards um, Aldi, which signals the end of North End Road. Um, if we were to go to our right and straight ahead, we'd end up the Winter Gardens, the Margate Winter Gardens. And if we go carry on down the hill, then back up, we come to the centre of Margate. And this is another church, you see. North End Road has got lots of churches, especially this end. This is the Saint, this is the Coptic Orthodox Church. Saint Michael and Saint Pishoy, is it? Not very really good at things like that, so. Who would have thought that we would find a Coptic Orthodox Church in Cliftonville? Well, good place for it, I suppose. Very nice, colourful charity shop on the corner of Dalby Road. The Dalby Cafe is quite famous. This, there's a famous picture of Pete Thingy Bob from um, the Libertines eating the huge breakfast outside there. I'll try and post that if I can. Um, I can't believe that was Kent's biggest and best breakfast. Not that I've been there because as you know or may not know I'm a vegetarian so I don't actually eat the traditional breakfast and um, 
vegetarian breakfasts are so disappointing usually. But anyway, that's a video for uh, yet another day. So we're just coming down the end now. There's not a lot more in North Down Road before we get to Aldi. You can see the sign down there, I think. And there's a, another escape um, room. It's a very popular thing, I think, isn't it? And over the left, we've got more traditional Margate stuff. The Flag of St. George and the wedding photography. Bridal house, hasn't been open for quite a long time. Planet Cars, one of our mini cab firms. And of course, the ubiquitous kebabs and burgers. And down there, you see a lovely blue sea. So, I think I'm doing this totally wrong because I'm, I'm waving the camera all over the place. Because I've been out of practice because I've crossed my eye operation. I've been um, off the video in for quite a while. And this is, um, oh, pottery, ceramics and sculpture. KG Winters General Store. I did get some very nice sourdough bread there once many years ago. That looks like that's where the coaches used to come, although of course this probably was, this end is probably a lot older than that end. This end is probably pre-1920s, because a lot of the buildings, certainly like that little alleyway looked a lot older than 1920s, and it would have been for horses, I think. Uh, but that there is very 1920s, I would say, architecture and font. And across the road there, there's another, when the A bus goes past the AK. That was obviously something else, wasn't it, when it was first built? It's called Bath Road, so only if that was a bath. And there's a Sri Lankan and South Indian restaurant, the Riz. So, all go, and there's the Lido down there, which we'll be coming to later. Very soon, in fact. So, this is the end of um, North Down Road. We're going to hook round, turn left, and come back and look at the seafront at Giftyville. If we went down there, that would be Margate there. I say Winter Gardens to the right, straight ahead is the main drag of Margate. Cecil Square, the beaches, etc. Railway station further on. But we're going to go to our left, probably go back the way that we came here. Very good view of the Coptic church there. Yes. And down Ethelbert Road to see what we can find down here, down towards the Lido. Here we are down. Ethelbert Road, back in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, these places down here would have all probably been boarding houses, guest houses, the old fashioned seaside landlady, the thing of postcards. This is when people came to Margate and didn't have lots of money, like typical families, working class families from the east end of London. They'd come down to Margate and stay somewhere like this. All on the bit we're going to go down, the front, there were big hotels like Butlins in the 1950s had about four huge hotels where you could get everything that you wanted. It looked like a holiday camp within a hotel and you could have entertainment and you would have everything paid for. You would have your breakfast there, you'd have your lunch there, you'd have your tea there and then you go to the bar there and watch people sing and stuff and it sounds absolutely awful to me but that's what people liked back then. All these places that were boarding houses and hotels, small hotels, have all been turned into flats now. A lot of them are bed sits and things, so there's a lot more people living here now than there were then, because then it was mainly holiday places. One of the issues in Margate now is the fact that people can't get flats at a reasonable price because everywhere is now an Airbnb, and B, which means they're empty and they're not available for people who want to live there to live. So uh, the local council or the Labour group on the local council did try and put a 
they meet on that and have licenses but that was rejected so there you go so you can, if you want to get an airbnb in at margate and ramsgate and all in the thanny district council area go ahead and here we are this is a, that's a very picturesque view isn't it with the boat out there traffic going past being margate there's a lot of traffic of course and that is the famous margate or cliftonville lido i'll try and put some um, information up there about it and as you can see that's the North Sea out there. Ramsgate is opposite the English Channel because it's south facing but Margate as you can see these boats here are all waiting to enter the port of London or Felixstowe or Tilbury so they may be waiting here t for access to that I don't know but you often see them waiting out outside here. In the distance I don't know if you can just see that there's the wind turbines down there in the sea which are turning. It's a bit breezy today. People walking on the seafront. We will stick to this bit here. There's still some that are hotels, such as the Sherwood. Next door there's a blue plaque to someone called William Ford with lots of O's in it. Kelsey with a C which may or may not be of interest to us. He was a county cricketer apparently. I shall look him up and if there's anything interesting about him I shall put him up on the um, thing. Um, this is all very, as you can see, it seems to have gone to pot a bit now. Like, I think in, in, back in the day these would have been nice gardens with like proper benches and things. So people across the road in the hotels could come across and sit and look at the sea and maybe play bowls or whatever it was they used to do here. There's all sorts of weird things here like that's obviously something strange isn't it? I've got no idea what it is I'll try and find out but very strange. So here we are there's a Kosovo there's Legacy of what used to be around, amusements, slot machines, camping bowling. Of course to our right is where we've just been walking, North Down Road. And we're going to walk, keep walking back the way we came to where roughly equivalent, this runs parallel with North Down Road. Well keen observers might notice something slightly different about this because um, after I shot that last bit that we just watched for some reason my camera stopped recording and so I was walking along here talking to myself being very very I must say that probably the best stuff I've ever done and no one will ever see it but anyway I'm going to try it's about a week later the um, the Lido has actually collapsed by now as I mentioned in my previous thing and so we're going to walk along and we're going to see what we can find today so now it's early at November the light is not the same, I know it's not as bright as it was then, but um, it's still the same place, so we're going to try again and see what we do. I'm going to go this way, past the children's playground, not because I want to look at the um, children, because there aren't any, but because actually, no, it seems to be a long way around, so I shall go back to where I was and carry on walking. That's the secret. If in doubt, carry on walking and carry on talking. That's the rule of the vlogger. Right here we are at the top of the, uh, we're still walking along the Esplanade, it changed its name from time to time. Now down there as you can see um, is the beach and the sea and there's a little road that cuts underneath and that eventually rises up but um, there's a lot of these they're called gaps. Some of them are more picturesque than this, this is one of the least picturesque ones but it's still quite nice isn't it and a little bridge across there for the if you walk along the seafront and all that. Um, that would actually freak me out a bit because I'm not very good with heights but um, here we are and we'll just turn the corner. Christianville as I say is on the rise it's not just um, the rise of the new shops and better cafes. There's the Tom Thumb Theatre in front of me which we're approaching and we'll come to that soon and across the road are two of the hotels that are still operating, larger hotels. There's a Smith's Court Hotel which is quite a large private one which um, has been going all the way through. It's one of the very few left 
and next to it, well not next exactly, but um, a few doors down, is the hotel that was bought by the Libertines and they changed it to the Albion Rooms for some reason. We'll look at it in a minute. I don't think you can see it behind me. Or there. The Smiths Court Hotel and the Albion Rooms. That's got a recording studio. I think it's got about eight rooms in it, something like that. And a bar and stuff and a restaurant, I think. And um, those other things. The Smiths Court has got a bars and stuff like that. That's more a more traditional family hotel. I'm not sure that the Libertines Hotel is particularly family orientated, but it depends what your family's like, I suppose. But um, and we're walking along, we're coming to the Florence Rose Tea Rooms. I've got no idea who Florence Rose was or is, but I'm sure she's um, a wonderful person. And um, this is slightly, this area was like way down even 10 years ago and it's really rising up now. I think that the whole of the area is going to be, in the next 20 years, is going to be one of the most sought after places to live in the UK, certainly the Margate area, because um, people like it here, people like living here. You can see the view, the various ships out there in the, in the North Sea, off the coast sitting around waiting for something, waiting for entry to the port or whatever. We're coming up now to the Tom Thumb Theatre, which is supposed to be one of the smallest theatres in the world. I think it holds 60 people, 60 seats. Um, it's very nice. It tends to do alternative type of entertainment, not exactly family pantomimes. I suppose it only holds 60 people, it can't really go put on Jim Davidson. Not that I want to, I don't think. There we are, could do with a look of paint at the front, but who can't? And it's got Orlando Weeks on at the top of the theatre, the Margate Film Festival held various events here, um, the Oracle Sisters, Cliftonville Vaudeville, with various people that I don't know, but um, that doesn't mean a lot, because I don't know many people, especially in the cabaret and burlesque worlds. And so, there we go, Tom Thumb Theatre. Part of the resurgence of Cliftonville, and we'll keep walking towards Walpole Bay because that's the next bay, and then after Walpole Bay is Palm Bay, where we end our walk, which is roughly where we started on the parallel North Down Road. So let's keep walking. There's Second Avenue, which is handy because we've just passed First Avenue, so we know we're going in the right direction. And I think there's five, because funny enough, when I went to college, I lived in Chelmsford near a similar arrangement. And after a few drinks at the railway tavern in town, I used to go back there and I used to find my way by the fact that it was the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Because of course, if it's just names, very hard to remember, especially if you're, you're new. Don't you think? Or, or is that me? Probably just me. Never mind. That was um, 50... How many years ago was that? That was 50 years ago almost. So, um, there you go. We're coming now to Thanet Indoor Bowl Centre and an outdoor bowl thing and the Walpole Bay Hotel, which has got its own story, which I will tell you. Third Avenue. And here we are on the Eastern Esplanade. Very nice too. Nice hedge around the um, bowling green. Odd palm tree. Just let us know that we're in tropical climes. Though I must admit, living in Ramsgate, as I do, coming to Margate is usually a bit of a shock, because in Ramsgate, where I think I might mention this previously, because I do keep going on about stuff like this, it's like south facing, so we tend not to get the wind off the North Sea. And I used to, when I was um, doing stuff in Margate in 2015, be in my um, t shirt in Ramsgate, head up here, and then be absolutely freezing because it would be just about four degrees, four degrees um, colder. So there you go. So all, all, all these hipsters who are moving to Margate and 
Christianville. If you, if you like it a bit warmer, change your mind and go to Ramsgate. Much nicer. Anyway, we're in at Cliftonville now, so let's not um, to denigrate it, because it's a very nice place too. If I wasn't living in Ramsgate, I'd probably want to live in Margate and Cliftonville. Probably Cliftonville more than Central Margate, frankly. And here we are in Cliftonville. I don't know if you can see the Walpole Bay Hotel over there. That's a very big filming um, centre for filming because it's um, not changed. Well, apparently it's um, like a living museum, which I suppose is like an excuse not to buy new furniture. But um, that's what it is. It's very nice inside. I have tried to film in there once or twice, and they're not that keen, I must be honest. So maybe I will one day. Maybe I'll ask them whether I'm usually famous if we can do a special in the Walpole Bay Hotel. The most recent thing I know that they filmed here was, I think it was outside, it may have been inside too, because I don't actually watch it, is the Larkins, which is the ITV's answer to, um, well it's not answer, because it's, they also did the um, Darling of Buds of May. And it's the same stories updated. And instead of David Jason, it's now Bradley Walsh. So there's a shot in the, in the programme, I believe, of Bradley Walsh and whoever's playing Pam Ferris getting out of their car or taxi outside the Walpole Bay Hotel, right there. So we'll go down and maybe walk on the same hallowed pavement as Bradley Walsh. Wouldn't that be something, people? Maybe some of his charm and wit will rub off on me. Who knows? We, we can only hope. As you can see, it looks very nice outside. They've certainly put an effort in, haven't they? You've got to say that. Yeah, the Walpole Bay Hotel and Bowling Club. Very nice. So if you want an oldie worldie pot of coffee for one for only £4.50, come and enjoy it in these very luxurious surroundings. So there you go. I might have to, to do that one day, I think. Because it's things like that that I keep on meaning to do, but never actually do, right? Afternoon teas and doing stuff like that and interesting things. In, interesting places. Maybe I could use this as an excuse to get some of these things done. Because most of us waste our lives, I think, and I think that when you get to a certain age, you look back on your life and you think, have I wasted it? And I think a lot of people have. I mean, I'm, I was looking today on the bus over at people in their little cottages and they're all probably retired people and they're all sitting there drinking their tea in the morning, looking the bus go past. And I think, what have you done in your life? You've probably just worked nine to five for God knows how long. Um, which may be harsh, but I think that it's not really... Uh, by the end of your life, you've got to think, what have I done? And most people, I think, say, well, I've had four, four children, which is fine. But if those children are, I don't know, drug addicts or or oh, I've murdered anybody or something like that. You don't really have a lot to say over what your children do. Not going to say that my, 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 my children or my child is, is, a, is anything like that because he's very nice. But, um, but that can't be something you can say that you've done because it's not you, is it? It's somebody else. There's another church there, St. Anne's Church. I think that's not as old as it looks, actually. It looks like it's been built to look older. But I shall check it out and I shall let you know if there's any fraud going on with the... Um, the St Anne's Church with the Church of England because we don't want them frauding us, defrauding us or anything, do we? So I just had to look to make sure it was on after my last experience. There's not a lot more actually, it's just much of the same really. We're going down towards Palm Bay, Palm Bay and there's not a lot there apart from more sea, a bit more, more bungalows, more, more hotels that used to be hotels and not anymore. And maybe will be in the in the future, and so um, 
I might sign off right now. So if you enjoyed this, please like it. Please comment, let me know what you think. Am I wasting my time? Is this a completely boring enterprise or do you quite like it? And subscribe, especially if you don't like it. Subscribe and watch more of them, that's what I say. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. So keep a look out for my videos and um, have fun. And I'll leave you with a shot of the Eastern Esplanade sign. And that's all, folks.